You're fighting up the next to come the number 12 team in the nation, the SIU Salukis. Western started hot with this pass from QB Josh Hudson to Tarian Crump for a 43-yard gain. The very next play, Josh Hudson gets the scoring going with this 37-yard touchdown to Justin Morgan. It's 7-0 Western. The defense gets the ball back into the offense's hands as Josh Hudson gets this pass to Tarian Crump to set up another touchdown drive. Josh Hudson throws it to Miles Daughtry for an 11-yard touchdown. And that's 14-0 WIU. Southern Illinois quarterback McIntosh looking for somebody, but it isn't going to find anyone, so he's going to try and roll right and get some running room. And he does, but yet he gets injured on the play here after this hard tackle, and he will be out for the remainder of the game. Late in the second quarter, SIU's backup quarterback, Faulkner, finds Stanford for the touchdown, 14-7. Leather next. Momentum carrying on from the first half. Hudson throwing it to Crump. Crump gets by one guy and runs it in for the easy touchdown. It's WIU 21-7. However, the Salukis would hand it off to Hampton, their big running back, who would not let them fall down as he got not just one touchdown, but he would get two touchdowns and tie this game up at 21-all. As he finished with 146 yards, not wanting to go into overtime, the Western Leathernecks wanted to end this game, and they get it to Crump, and Crump will take it to the house as he will put the game 27-21 as the field goal was missed by Pat Smith. The game was not over though as the Saluki saw 22 seconds left to try and make something happen and they do as they get it to Fuller and that's a great catch there getting on the 25 yard line. Faulkner looking to end the game here with 10 seconds left. He's rolling to his right looking for a receiver, finds Lance, however it will be intercepted by Raynard Hamilton. Hudson finished with 307 yards and 4 touchdowns while Crump finished with 5 receptions and 163 yards as your Fighting Leathernecks take it 27-21.